value. Um, all you need to do is use your net present value uh, formula function, and you can you find that. Uh, and then our 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 value our rate is I twenty three. That would be our weighted average cost of capital, which we have right here in our key inputs. And then uh, our values would be uh, later. Okay, you can see it's added in later on, on the top here. So that's our net present value. Internal rate of return, uh, same thing. You use the internal rate of return function the internal rate of return. Uh, same thing with the modified internal rate turn, modified internal rate of return, except you have to put a, uh, uh, a finance and a reinvestment rate. That would be your weighted average cost of capital that goes in there. Okay. Um, our payback. Uh, we, we, we've done the payback uh, down here. It comes from here. And so uh, we brought down uh, the first year, and then uh, the second year is just this plus this, and some of all these, and uh, then you'll notice it pays back somewhere between the third and fourth year. This is the sum of all these, uh, and so to find the payback, we would actually we can actually uh, you can use the if function and uh, this, this right here is greater than zero then we just say G 79 that's our two years plus and we're going to just use the absolute value because it'll be a negative if we don't so we need to turn it to a positive absolute value of G 80 uh, divided by this H 69 up here and that would give you payback of uh, 2.49 years. Okay, now you need to an be sure and answer all the questions uh, B through D and then next video I'll talk about how to do part E.